what happened then with the EU was we then had one central bank so all the central banks of each country then report back to the EU which is the European Central Bank so so here's what's going to happen the corona is going to be dealt with either in a week a month two months whatever whenever it's going to be dealt with it's going to be dealt with right and the economic recovery is going to be very very quick after that right and here's the reason why right way back before europe all the all the money in a country is produced by the central bank right and every country had its has its own central bank and before we were in the euro every central bank would operate independently right so what happens is when there's a boom going on right and everybody is spending the central the government says well we better sort this out and the central bank who acts on behalf of the government they sort it out by interest rates so if people are spending too much money they raise interest rates so what that means then is that your loan that you were paying eight percent on to the bank well you're paying the bank eight percent three percent is for the bank and then the other five percent is for the central bank right so the, the banks borrow the money off the central banks and then they lend that to us and the interest gets split between us the interest that we pay gets split between profit for the bank and interest that the banks have to pay you got me on that right so the problem that we had in the past right was that one country could be booming and another country could be on its knees right so one country could have like 10 percent interest rate you know trying to curb trying to curb the uh the boom right could be massive interest rates massive inflation and another country could be down in in down in the dumps right and the neighboring country could be trying to trade with each other but their currencies would be so off that they couldn't it just wouldn't make sense things got very expensive and that's why you see the uh you know the, the euro is strong against the dollar it's weak against the sterling and all this sort of stuff that's what I, and to be honest i don't understand it that much i don't need to understand it i understand enough for what i'm doing right um but then the eu came in right and what happened then with the eu was we then had one central bank so all the central banks of each country then report back to the eu which is the european central bank so you might know you might have heard the term tracker mortgage so what happened with tracker mortgages was the banks i i borrow i, I would uh borrow money from a bank and it would be like one percent a one percent tracker mortgage right so what that meant was the bank borrowed the money from the central bank the european central bank the ecb and they paid the they paid the bank the irish bank paid the european bank uh, interest based on the european the ecb the Euro, the ecb rate right the european central bank rate whatever that was so they would lend me and call it a tracker mortgage so my mortgage was like a one percent tracker or a two percent tracker depending right and what that meant was the irish bank that was lending the money had a one percent or a two percent margin on the money that they were lending from the, the ecb the european central bank and as the european central bank put the money put the rate up and down my repayment went up and down as well so i might have been paying three percent to the to my bank and that that on a one percent tracker i might have been paying three percent so one percent of the money i paid three percent interest rate one percent of that went to my bank and two percent went to the central bank